Okay, I'm just going to do a pretty quick video on um, viewing hidden files within Linux. Um, so, two ways looking at files, graphical environment and through the terminal, we'll look at both ways of viewing hidden files. So by default, we don't see any hidden files here. If we go up into Edit and choose Preferences, if we click to show hidden files, hidden and backup files, we're going to see this get populated. So, uncheck it, they all disappear. And I'll just keep it as such, close. If you notice, all these hidden files have a dot in the front. That's why they're frequently referred to as dot files. So, if we open up a terminal and do the same thing, PWD to see where we're currently at, so home cyber patriot which is the same directory we're in over here if we do an ls again we don't see any of the hidden files so in order to see hidden files we do an ls minus a and now we see all these dot files these hidden files so to create a hidden file um, you can I want to use the touch command to create a file and we'll just make call this hidden file. So now if I do an ls, I don't see it, but an ls minus a will now show the hidden file. Now if you have a file, so we'll do touch again for um, file 1. So we can do ls, we see our file 1. If I want to make that a hidden file, I use the move command and I move file 1 to dot file 1. Now if I do an ls, we no longer see it. I have to do an ls minus a, and we see it right there, dot file 1. Now if I did ls minus a, dot file 1, it would show that one and only file. Again, how you fi hide files and directories, because um, if you look here, these are all directories in the blue. How you hide a file or directory in Linux is by prepending it with a dot, i.e. starting it with a dot. And if you want to view it in the terminal, run ls minus a. And from the graphical uh, file manager, which is called Nautilus, you go to edit, preferences, and check the show hidden and backup files. So once again, we click it and we start to see them all. Okay, that's it. Thanks.